Oh, uh, yes, take one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Good morning, and welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to my apartment. It is slowly getting filled up. Last weekend, I built a TV stand. There are no more wires there, and it's starting to feel a little bit like home. We've got a coffee table and a few other bits and pieces, but the most important thing, there is not a BMW M4 outside. There is, in fact, my C63. Is outside. I'm out of breath actually from that slide. Today is a beautiful day, so I've decided that I want to take my C63 for a drive. I've owned that car now for nearly three weeks and spend more time driving other cars than that car. So much so that I don't believe I've made a video properly driving the C63 and chatting to you guys about how it differs from the BMW M3. So we're gonna do that, but to do that, we need to find some nice country roads. And that means going to Pangbourne, which is near Reading. And I discovered those roads, thank you to HRO in Lamborghini, which is based there where I picked my Hurricane up from. So I'm gonna head over there. I'm obviously gonna go to the dealerships. This is gonna be very much a vlog, but hopefully giving you guys a bit of an insight into what it is like to drive the C63 AMG. So I need to put my shoes on because if I had shoes on, I wouldn't have been able to slide that entire way across the floor. Get into the C63, I might do a cold start, let's see how it sounds, and then get cracking, head around the M25. This day is beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. starting to come over but we've still got dry tarmac which is perfect for putting down the 470 or brake horsepower that we've got in the AMG. Now the biggest thing that I saw in the comments of the M4 CS video is that the M4 obviously doesn't sound as good as this. Even on Twitter when I posted out the M4 everyone was saying well the C63 sounds better and this is just in comfort mode with the valves on. just got so much more soul to it it's got so much more character and that sound just reminds me of an American muscle car but let's put it into Sport Plus you get nice pops and bangs fuel gets fueled fuel, fuel gets put through the exhaust <laughs> and it has got all of the power that you were to ever need. Now this is the thing with spending so much time in supercars. Sometimes those cars have too much power. We're en route to HRO and Lamborghini. Arguably the Performante, the Huracan and the Aventador have got too much power to fully take advantage of it. 6.5 litre V12 with 740 brake horsepower. You put your foot down for way going past the speed limit, 100 miles an hour, whereas I'm doing 70 miles an hour. So, oh, it's just got such a nice tone to it that actually, I don't want to change the tone. When I'm going to change the exhaust system, I'm going to try and keep the nature of this low rumble. I don't want to go high pitched, I don't want it to scream. I want it to sound just even more like thunder as we're driving past people. I could put my foot down on this all day long, never get past the speed limit, and actually enjoy the accessible power. It doesn't feel as twitchy and as snappy as the M3, M4. The power delivery is so much more progressive. The torque curve is just incredible. There's a dead pheasant there, poor guy. But the suspension, bang on, you get a lovely feel through the steering. The M4, M3 steering is better than this, but the M4 CS with the Alcantara steering wheel and the chunkiness of the steering wheel just adds to it feeling a little bit more special. So I'm having an ahhing at the moment about whether to put an Alcantara steering wheel onto this car. I might take it to Dub Customs and get it re-upholstered, which could be really cool. You find country roads like this, you can't help but just rev it out. 
and this car revs to 7,000 RPM. That's plenty. I've been short shifting, but these downshifts, they're just so like. Oh. And with tyres pretty good at temperature, we're not getting much wheel spin at all, so I'm really enjoying getting the power down. There is one thing that is a little weird with this car. Now, oh, the BMW had audio exhaust note coming through the speakers. This car obviously doesn't need that. However, Mercedes have managed to capture the exhaust tone that is coming out the back much better inside with the sound dampening, meaning like when I put my window down, it actually sounds louder with the window up. It's so weird. Maybe Mercedes do play sounds through the speakers. Well, we've arrived and <laughs> we've got this here. This is the spider version of my 580-2 with the orange bit down there. But this is not far off the exact spec satin black wheels, orange calipers. It's got nicer seats than mine. The interior here is a lot nicer than mine. Let's have a look at the back. I love this bit on the Hurricane Spider. Not many people know about that because the roof's normally covering it in the UK. You don't get to see it. Let's have a look at the rear. Oh, look at this. I didn't get that on mine. What do you think, Danny? Oh. Perfection. Perfection. Yeah, I like the satin touches on that as well. Yeah. Well, this is just a, a baby version of the slats that I had. Yeah, it is. The glass looks awful. How much is it? 190. <laughs> 190. <laughs> I knew that was Craig just because he was blipping the throttle. That grey car, you'll see it. That car, Grigio Telesto, Gallardo, LP550-2 in manual. Let's quickly go and have a look at it. I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna run down. Quick, quick. Nice cars here. Very nice cars here. That's just been sold. Oh, look at that. Nearly panned away from that. Here you go, check this out. LP550-2 with a manual gearbox. <clears throat> that is going to be one expensive Gallardo and I think it's going up for sale. So that is gonna be a keeper to shove in the garage. Look at the spec. This is one of the best Dash 2s that I've seen. If you want stealth, this is the way to go. Race exhaust. Look at the interior. Alcantara everywhere. This is actually what I wanted my interior to look like. Look at the toweling. Oh, it feels so good. And then from the front as well, when you've got no front number plate. So the convoy is going to be Dash 2 Spider. 610-4 coupe. It's a Lambo party in the rear view camera. Bet they've both got their nose lift up. Probably gonna need Sport Plus for this, aren't we? Indeed. <laughs> Sport Plus. Engaged. <laughs> Quite the sight for everyone else walking along. Yep. Two cool Lambos going through. Look at the kid's face there! <laughs> oh, that was priceless. <laughs> Two Lamborghinis at once. Now we've just talked about how good the AMG sounds. Um, and now we've got 10.4 W20 in front. Both with race exhaust. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> a familiar face on the Super Mario yeah. page. Paul is literally just behind us in the C63. There he is, he's just going out now. And we are in the Hurricane um, demo car from Pangborn. It's pretty cool. Traffic is building outside. You would have seen that Danny basically took over the vlog, went out in a hurricane, Craig needed fuel, Danny got a free ride, Craig thought that he was showing him the Lamborghini Pangborn test route. I literally just showed Danny it in the C63, so Danny basically got a free ride and did it for the vlog. Craig is also telling me that there is a new Aventador S demonstrator coming next week in satin white, which I really want to see, yellow brake calipers. That's not far off one of my dream specs on an Aventador S. So it has been a load of fun down here. So many Lamborghinis and fairly spontaneous as well because I woke up this morning with absolutely no plans. But actually, tonight I need to edit another video. So it is all go on Supercars of London. It has been a lot of fun. Let me know whether you've enjoyed this video. It's just been a very fun and spontaneous vlog. So thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you probably tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Oh, that sucked.